Hi everyone, it's Elaine. I have another Use Your Stash video. It's episode 5 and for this episode it's going to be Easter cards. I'm, I'll be using uh, stickers as usual, some stamps and my distress ink. It's just really simple uh, to put together but um, it's very fun and very colorful and I love it. I'll share it with you but before I start I just want to say thank you to everybody who likes this kind of video, who's been supporting me and leaving me sweet comments and always encouraging me. Thank you so much for that one. I'm happy to hear also that people have been trying to use their stash as well. And if you do videos, please uh, give me the link so that I can watch your video too. But for those people who don't like this kind of videos, you could already see in the title, Use Your Stash. And if you don't like my project, just please don't watch it. You don't have to be mean or, or rude or what, whatever. Just don't watch the, the video. And um, enough rambling, Elaine. I just, I just want to vent out my feelings. But I still believe that um, the crafting community in YouTube, 99% are good people, very nice people, and I love them. It's just that there is 1% that um, I don't know what to call them. <laughs> anyway, you know what I mean. I'm pretty sure you've encountered some people like that. But yeah, I just want to take it out from my from my chest, from my system. I want, um, I want it to be good vibes. Okay, so I'll start with my Easter projects now. So I've got uh I've made these two cards last night, which I really had fun. And I have this one that I cut the paper, I prepared everything, but I'll do a process video and I'm gonna fast forward it. So I'll share with you the first card that I made. The size of this one is five and a half by five and a half, and it's really simple. I use this uh for the for this background, this is just a white cardstock, and I ink the upper part here so that it looks like it's a sky so I use this two here the distress ink the tumbled glass and the broken china I use that one and um, I stamp the flowers as I've shown you before I've got this uh, Easter spring clear stamps from Hampton art I use this one and I just use my Copics to color them there's no blending or anything. I just use one color per flower. And for my border, the hill border, this is a, this one here, the Dynamics uh, MFT die. That one, so I use it as my uh, grassy hill there. And I use the twine. And for this two here, these are old stickers that I found in my stash. I had it for a long time. And it says Happy Easter, and there's the egg, and look at the egg, it is, it has feet, <laughs> and I just love it. And for the, for the pattern paper, the same paper that I use for my flip book, this, uh, we are memory keepers, very old Easter paper, so I use that one. And for my card base, it's just a plain white cardstock. I didn't write anything or any uh, stamp uh, the inside yet. So, so that's it. I I put a foam tape for this one just to make it elevated. It's really simple. It's fast to make, especially like if you know already. Because when I made this one, I I know I'm gonna use the stickers, but I didn't know that I have to put this one. So, I just uh. I just put it because I didn't like that it was so so plain at the background so I decided to stamp those flowers and it looked really nice for my second one this part here this is just a plain white cardstock and I want to make it more springy like more Easter like but I don't have that um, kind of paper that I'm looking for so what I did I used my distress ink I use this two blues here, tumbled glass and the broken china for this part. I use this sponge sugar for this part and for this part here, since I don't have a yellow distress ink, but I have this old stamping up yellow ink, I use that one. So just use whatever you have. If you don't have distress ink, 
just use whatever or you can even use a colored pencil just to color the background and I use this dusty concord for this part here and what else oh I use this one because I like the shade of green this is just a dollar fifty from the from Michaels so that's what I did and this is just a three by four um, cut out a uh, cardstock I mean cardstock and I stamp with the same flowers like I use here and I put rhinestone on those flowers and these are stickers I love using stickers on my card because they're just so easy you don't have to color them so I use this Dollarama stickers and I like it it's so colorful and it's puffy stickers so I use this chicks the umbrella here and the eggs and I put a baker's twine I put another flower and I put it uh, and, and I put it on top of this uh, green cardstock. It's a yellow green cardstock. Use a foam tape on that. And the base is just five and a half by five and a half white cardstock. So yeah, very simple to put together. But um, the trick for an Easter card is just to make it very colorful. <laughs> That's what I that's what I noticed okay so I'll be making this uh, another Easter card uh, with you today but I'm gonna do, fast forward it so that it's, be, it's gonna be fast I pre-cut my paper and I distress it already so just like this one this is just a white cardstock but I wanted to have like the, this color here so what I use I use this uh, tumble glass and the broken china again I love those two though well those are the only blue I have and I use the sponge sugar for this one and I don't even have the blending tool you know what I use I just use uh, makeup sponges I'm gonna show it to you I have this thing here and I just use those uh, dollar store makeup sponges so that's what I use when I ink them so that will be my background and this is which is still from the MFT die that one and this one oh I forgot to show it to you that's a CC designs fence border die and this is I've got this long time ago but this is the first time I use it so I found it I forgot about it good thing I found it in my drawer so I'm gonna use it and I just stamp again that's a uh, from this stamp here this one here and I colored it with my Copics nothing fancy no blending just one color per flower again and I'm planning to put it like that and this is a from my stash I made years ago and I found it so I'm gonna use it like that and more stickers this is from the same uh, set as this one so I've got two more eggs so I'm just gonna put them together and I'm gonna use twine and we'll see if I'm gonna use some stickers so this card it will be a little bit bigger compared to the two cards the two cards just five and a half by five and a half this one is gonna be six six by six card this is just a flat from the pattern paper so okay we'll do a process video now
here it is this is the card that I just made now and look at that it's look it looks very colorful right and at f I had a, a hard time deciding if I want to do two of the Baker's twine and I just end up using one and I put a foam tape for this uh, first layer here and as well as on the fence I put a foam tape there so that I could tuck in the, the eggs so that's it I just love the blue and the pink combination for the background it just looks very history if that's a word <laughs> happy easter and this is just a sticker after you've seen it and that's it so those are my three easter cards i made for this uh, episode hope you like them leave me a comment and make sure to check out my playlist for this use your stash video thank you guys have a great day bye